Hello family. Welcome back to our channel. Babe doesn't want me to record because he feels embarrassed. I think I see it. Yep. About what we're doing right now. I don't but feel embarrassed. I just I, want a Maserati. But I think it's important that we take you guys on this journey with us so that you guys can grow with us, so that you guys can see. Sorry guys, I'm hungry. Um, so that you guys can see um, what we're going through so that when we grow right, alongside you guys, um, you guys know what we had to do and what we had to sacrifice in order to grow. Um, so we are at a, we are, so we are um, car shopping and we're looking for a used car. We're not looking to lease this, this time around. This is hard. This is so hard. It is, it is, because we're not used to doing this. We're used to just, I mean, the last time we just went to a dealer, we leased the car and we walked. Like, look, look, how, good I, look how good I look in this picture right here, that car I just got in. Come on, I should be driving that. You should, and you will, babe. Very soon, you will. And we're gonna bring the Fab family along with us when that happens, but right now, we're in a budget and we're trying to pay off student loans, which we don't have that much. Well, we have a long, a long way to go, but not really. Um, so we're trying to stay consistent so that we can do this as fast as possible so that we can buy the car that we want, so that we can drive the car that we want and it not hurt our pockets. Uh, so, we're bringing you guys along so you guys can keep us accountable. I'm buying this shit right here. 2007 Honda CRV, $9,995. It has 83,000 miles. And it has cost materials so Armani and Zena can tear it up. Babe, we're buying this car. This is the one? Yep. 2007? For real or are you joking? I'm dead serious. <laughs> now, as you guys can... Okay, let's go inside and see what they have. Square zero. Square zero? Uh, what? That's not even how you say it. We're about to. So square one. Square one. <laughs> um, there's just so many things we gotta think about. Um, uh, we all focus so yeah, many times. Well, Guys, we're about to get We're losing focus here. <laughs> I think we've lost them. <laughs> nah, but we're saving money though. No. <sighs> we're saving half. So, yeah, definitely. Which in the long run is a lot of money, a lot of money saved. Come on, I should just buy that one. Not right now, babe, focus. That is fire, babe. It is fire, but it's not fire for us right now. So focus. This is not what we came here to look for. Babe even test drove a, a smaller car, which we was promised a price. And then when we sat on the table, you can get this for one ninety nine a month. And then he comes with two seventy nine. Two seventy nine plus. I'm like, like that's almost three hundred dollars. Please, seventy nine dollars is way too much for us. Okay, $79 is $79. $79 times 12 is a whole lot of money. You can't curse. Sorry. But yeah. But that pissed me off. Come on, like, he said it so confident. Like, yeah, you would get this for $199. He didn't even say $200. He said $199. We might sound like cheap-ass people. And just to put this out there, it's not that we can't afford it. It's just that we have bigger 
and better priorities that we want to fulfill instead of like I don't want none of these to be honest I don't want none of these cars that we're, we're looking at right now these are not like I'm a I'm a person that's into cars like heavily into cars I love cars so none of the cars that I'm looking at right now I like or what do you really consider not, driving yeah. it's just like it's just, it's just a sacrifice. It's just what we have to do to get to where we want to get to so that we can eventually drive. What do you want to drive, babe? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to drive? Leave me alone, man. Come on, alone, tell man. them. Leave Put it out alone. there. Put it out there. What is it that you're going to be driving? It's too, the list is too long. No, okay. Your number one car that you're going to be driving in a couple years. Which one is it? Ooh. That's hard. Mm. That's hard. Come on, pick one. I can't. I really can't right now. Pick one, so that they have an idea of what your your mindset is. My ideal car right now. Ah, damn. <laughs> does that mean that I wait? Question for you. Like, does that mean we have we already have a vehicle like a Jeep? Because because that's where it depends. Like. If we already have a Jeep... Okay, let's say we already have our family car. What is your what is your car that you're going to be driving? I will get an RS7. Audi RS7. I'll put a picture of it right here. Woo! Fire! That's what babe is going to be driving in a couple of years. Yeah, definitely get that. Write it down. Follow our journey. If you want to see us accomplish these goals... I'm telling you, just keep following our channel. Yep. Because there is nothing you can't do without a little bit of sacrifice and God on your side. Nothing. Those two things combined. Woo! To be honest, though, even though I want an Audi R7, if my house doesn't have a pool, I'm probably going to invest in the pool before I invest <laughs> in the car. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, we, we have different things that we want to achieve. And this is why we're going through this right now. Because to be very honest with you guys, like we can go right now into any dealer. Like, I could drive the R7 right now. Let's just put it like that. We can. I mean, but then not not to. We're not trying to brag, but we can literally just be a little bit irresponsible financially. After all we've learned, it would be just. It would just be stupid. After. We, sorry, guys, my phone died. So yeah, we're not trying to brag, but we can literally. Um, we make. A good decent amount of money, like between both of us. Yeah, we we learn like we don't have we don't owe money to anybody besides the student loan. So, us, right. So I think hold on, my dark in here. So the fact that we cleared up all our credit cards and all that it gives us a lot of space in our budget to drive whatever car we want. But then we also will be driving a nice car, not owning a house, parking it in the street. Our net worth will be zero instead of investing into a house, which the value is going to go up, and that means our net value is going to go. Net worth is going to go up, and our kids is going to have something in the future. And that so, is not how you plan for your future, and that is not how you build wealth, and that is our goal. Like that is our end goal, and we want it really bad, and so that's why we don't care. We have to sacrifice. We do care, but we don't care. <laughs> at the same time it's hard it's, it's really hard it's um, like it's, it's kind of like a humbling experience and, it, it, and it's funny because like there's so many families that don't even drive like own a car so like the fact that we even have the opportunity to even have options or look for options it's like yeah, it's a blessing so it's true. like there's people that take the train I mean I take the train every day but I there's, don't there's, <laughs> there's people that you know can't can't afford anything and we're we're over here you know stressed out because we can't find the one we want because we can't find the one we want key it and because we can get any cheap car there's no question about it but what we want you know since we have kids and i use my car to drive to work every day we want yeah, something that's, that's, that's reliable that's my biggest issue like if i was traveling with babe I work in the city and she works like in Westchester area. So I can't drive downtown. Before we used to both work in the Westchester area. 
So we used to drop, either I drop her off or she drops me off. We, it worked, our schedules worked. Now it, it doesn't, we can't do it. So I don't feel safe sending her out in a, you know, $2,000 car Deep down. for her to do all the runarounds with the kids and get to work. And because we had a, a problem one time before that I used to work downtown and our car that wasn't even a hoopty broke down on her. And I had to leave work from downtown, travel an hour to get to her, take like another cab and... If you're curious to know what car that was, it was a Hyundai Sonata 2011. It was my, I actually miss it now though. It was cute, it was so cute. <laughs> yeah, we, well, babe, <laughs> hooked it up pretty nicely. It looked a, a really nice yeah, car. Yeah, pretty much it looks like a a bootleg version of Austin's uh, orange Lamborghini from the Ace Family. <laughs> but I can, also, I can honestly say, Whenever, if I ever do orange again, which possibly might, I can say I did it first because my Honda Sonata was orange. Not a Lamborghini, but it was orange and it was bagged and it was And it was rims. beautiful. It was. And it was our first car, you guys, our first car. So it ha we have some very nice memories, even though it broke down on us. <laughs> <laughs> and that's but what I'm saying. Like, car. look, that was a car that. We spent like it was like twenty something thousand dollars. It was a newer car. It was, you know, whatever the package is, and it still broke down. So, it can me, happen. Me sending her out with an even cheaper car when I'm not there, I'm just I won't feel safe because you're so um, sweet. If I was there, I will I will do it because I know I can. Any issues you come can across, I can out. I can take care of it. But I'm not saying come on. Imagine this beauty like just stranded on the side of the road <laughs> and these these Nah, there's too much crazy people out here for me to have her uh, stranded on the side of the road with other men trying to help her out. What? Like, can I change your tire, man? <laughs> no, you can't change my tire. You're cute. So that's Anyways. that's my main reason why I don't get as much as I want to be more financially independent and save money. I refuse to have Yeah, her. we need a reliable car. We're trying to save money, but we are trying to find a reliable car. Period. It has to be reliable no matter what. And so that is um that is our biggest struggle right now. We're just trying to we're shopping around, we're trying to find a car that is affordable and reliable. I just have to share like it was so hard walking into a dealership as you guys seen. And, I actually and said having to having to you know like rethink like we had to regroup a couple times like and i, I kept telling babe i kept telling babe babe focus i focus, sat inside babe. an audi i was like oh my god <laughs> babe sat inside a bmw she was like oh my god i ca i have to no but the audi come on babe when you sat in it you was like it doesn't matter that's not in our budget right now it is not what we can afford right now i'm saying but like it's, it, it's it a was totally nice, different experience very like, totally different experience that's ex the experience i want for my future but i can't have that experience in my future with being financially free if I go for an expensive lease right now. Yeah. So we're trying to really stay away from. I had to like we had to like a couple like even me I was even sidetracking at some point I'm like oh my god yeah, like, like, but that was that really like, nice but oh my god but no it's only two hundred dollars and then he's like no it's two seventy nine and it's like you're already involved like they know how to do these things these salesmen they know how to get to you they know what you want like they're gonna give you a price that's gonna be like oh my god but yes maybe I can do this and then they're gonna come with an even higher prices after they add all these fees and you're already so emotionally involved at this point that if you're weak minded yeah, you're gone yeah because they're pretty much you're saying, gone they'd be like it's, it's just another 50 dollars like it's not that serious so yeah. in your head you're like oh yeah it's, it's just, just 50 dollars it's not just 50 dollars guys 50 dollars times 12 come on no, and if it's three years 36 36 50 times 36 that's a lot of money guys that if you were trying to pay something off could go to your loan or whatever it is you're trying to pay off so I, I'm proud though no, that we good. walked out good. and we went to two theaters and I gave them a hard time both of them they probably hate me but I said I'm I not, look I'm at not. this young guy thinking he knows it all yeah the first one was like oh how many cars you've had before I'm like this is my third car sir and he's like oh okay how much experience do you have walking into dealers you know that when the price they put online is not because he was like trying to push a car on us 
Babe doesn't budge though. Babe is he's really good. He's he's, he's a good negotiator. Babe. Yeah. I had all the I had an app already pulled up for like all the cars in the area, and he's like, "Oh no!" But I'm like, "Get out of here, man! You got the wrong person, and we think you want to scam me." <laughs> I'm broke, but you can't scam me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, a yeah, smart yeah. broke man. Good lord. Anyways, guys, just stay tuned. We're gonna keep updating you guys. We don't know exactly when it's gonna happen, when we're gonna find the car. It's gonna be this month, though. Yeah. See, so this is what we mean. Damn, this is gonna extend the video. Should what? What is it? it? No, go ahead. Like, we spent on these three years, we've leased this car. $16,000 have gone to this car, and we're gonna hand it over to them. Exactly. Free money for them. Sixteen thousand dollars. Sixteen thousand because that's how much the payments are when you total it up to the 36 months on this car. And literally we're gonna go and we're gonna give them the key and they're gonna go sell it for another seventeen thousand. And we're gonna they can literally leave us in front like take a cab. Yep. So this is what, what we don't want to do. Yeah. Even though it's tempting when you're sitting on a brand new car and it smells amazing, yep. the leather. Yep. It, it's amazing feeling to drive a new car. It is, but this is this is what we long made. term is not worth it. It depends on your goals. Maybe your goal is not to be financially wealthy or free. You know what? You do what you want to do. But I'm sure that if you're watching this video, it's because you don't want to be that person. It's because you want financial freedom. So these are the little things that you need to start doing. It is possible. I've seen it done way too many times by other people. Why can't we do it? We can. We just need that courage we just need that that push and that strong mentality to push through when we're being thrown all these things our way you know and being told by society that we need to have all these things and the way that we should do them and and being told or or just being used to instant gratification like we are so used to our generation is so used to i'm sorry for all the wiggling but you know the roads are very bad right now um we're so used to having things instantly. That's why we have a debt crisis going on right now. Like, our generation is so in debt. I mean, student loans, I mean, it's something that isn't really our fault. Um, but we're also in, like, a lot of young people are in credit card debt. And it's because we want instant stuff. We don't know how to say, you know what? I want that laptop. Let me, um, let me save for it and then buy it. No, we want to walk in, not save a dime. And we want to just swipe. <laughs> and then we pay. And we end up losing. Like, we end up losing big time because we pay what the laptop is worth times what? We pay way more than the laptop is worth worth because we want the laptop right then and there. And we need to stop if we want to move forward. Anyways, I think that's it. We've come to the end of this video. <laughs> Sorry for the rant. <laughs> but, you know, I know we've started to tell you you know before in previous videos that we were gonna do this journey and we are not we haven't forgotten about it i know we haven't posted about it but we've been in the struggle every day we've been in the struggle of you know not trying not to eat out so often trying not to spend so much money on things that we shouldn't be spending so much money it's a struggle like i'm not gonna lie it's a struggle especially i think is is even a bigger struggle for me than babe <laughs> Like on nah, a, on a you know date. how much camera equipment I want? It, listen, if I wasn't on a budget, you guys would be watching movies. Because if some of you think the quality is good, not this one. This We're on an iPhone face camera with the lights off, so it's grainy and all that. But if I wasn't on a budget, trust me, there'll be, there'll be movies in here. But there will also be debt. Yeah. But that, this video is long because this okay. one is 13 minutes. All right. Yours, All right. And then okay. We're we'll leaving. If you guys want us to keep talking about this, you leave your comments down below and just keep on watching because we're going to bring you guys on our journey and you guys are going to grow with us. So. And yeah. if you guys got a free car laying around, we'll take it. Come on. We'll, not even. Home. If you guys want to lend us a car for two years, we'll take it. Two years. 
Matter of fact, lend it to me for a year. I'll take it. <laughs> we'll take very good care of it. We promise. <laughs> All right, bye. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We love you. We appreciate you. Leave your comments down below. We love your feedback when we talk about these topics. I love you guys. Um, I know a lot of you watch and you guys, you know, leave your beautiful comments. Sometimes you follow me on Instagram with DM. But please leave your comments down below. It helps us a lot. Thank you so much again for watching. And we see you guys next time.